So tell me more about yourself. Like, what was your ambition for starting the, the podcast? Like, so I could have some concepts. Yeah. So I was working w- with a uh, private capital company and I started seeing a bunch of companies come through and CTOs and, you know, small founder, co-founder relationships. So before that, I, I had done projects, but they would last six or nine months. So I had, you know, experience every year or two. And when you review them all the time, you just get insane amounts of experience and exposure and patterns start to show themselves. So I kept having these same conversations over and over and over. And then I decided I was like, I'll do a blog or I'll put them in a book or something. And then I did that, started sharing them with all my CTO friends. And we started having conversations around them that were super interesting around these topics of the book, right? And we decided to record them and share them with each other. And then someone said, hey, dude, you got to do a podcast. I said, (laughs) all right. So I hired someone that knew how to do podcasts. And we told everyone that had pre-registered for the book, which we had like several thousand people pre-registered for the book. We said, hey, everyone, we're going to do this podcast and talk CTOs. And they're all like CTOs and lead developer types, right? So instantly, boom, we were booked up three shows a day, like four months out. It was crazy. Um, So then I lost my voice because you can't do three shows a day. (laughs) (laughs) And we backed it down to two and then we're slowly backing it down to one because now we have our world tour coming up. What? You guys are doing a CTO world tour? Oh, absolutely, Anthony. Wow. That sounds like fun. 